Welcome to our channel. Today we're going to be making these wonderful, unique anime mugs. So let's jump right into it. You'll need paper, your mugs, a bowl for your water, scissors, rubbing alcohol, crystal clear finishing spray, a brush, and your water decal paper. So this is the fun part where you find the images for your design. If you plan on selling your mugs, make sure you use your own original art or you contact the artist for permission. If it's just for fun or decor, then yeah, Google is your best place to find wonderful art for your designs. Make sure you don't find anything that's too complicated to cut out or remove the background. Once you're satisfied with the artwork you wanna use, go to remove.bg to upload the artwork there and remove the background. Next, head over to Canva and get your creative juices flowing. So these are what we came up with. My favorite one says, in the name of the moon, I will punish you if you don't get me my coffee. Next step is to get your water slide decal paper. So there's a matte side and there's a glossy side. You want your images to print on the glossy side. If you're not sure how your printer works, test it out on a sheet of paper first. Clearly we didn't do that because we printed it on the wrong side. The wrong side. <laughs> Let's try that again. Flip that over. Looking good. Ooh, glossy. So then you're gonna let this air dry for about 10 minutes or you can put it in the oven for about five minutes at a temperature of 80 degrees if you wanna go faster. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes, or at least I think it has, I haven't really been counting. So now I'm going to use this to seal it. I'm gonna do one to two thin coats in a well-ventilated area. Here we go. Okay, so while the acrylic spray is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and just clean off my mugs. And I'm super afraid to use this alcohol because I got a cut on my hand. It's gonna burn. So you're doing this to take off like any excess lint, any dirt or anything basically that you don't wanna be permanently on your mug. Also, you don't have to use alcohol. You could use soap and water too. Ah! 10 minutes pass and voila. Guys. I'm gonna cry. I accidentally scratched it. Ah! Okay. Okay, you're gonna soak it in the water for what is it doing? Ah! 30 to 60 seconds. Oh my gosh. I think I put too much water. Oh. <laughs> Why is all of this happening to me? So we decided to leave this clip in because we feel like DIY videos never show the mistakes. So viewers end up making mistakes that could have totally been avoidable. So here's where we went wrong. When you print out your images, just skip letting it air dry and go straight to blow drying it. For some reason, even if you let it sit overnight, the ink still bleeds when you put it in the water. 
So blow drying it was the only way we found that the ink didn't bleed in the water. Hopefully this will help you avoid this mess. Yes, it's beautiful. Okay, it already feels a lot more easy to cut. I'm less afraid of messing up or smearing it because it looks pretty well on there. So I'm hopeful for this one. Once you're done cutting it, spray it again with the finishing spray and blow dry it again. Trust me. Now that we kind of adjusted the instructions that came with the package, everything pretty much went smoothly. Though when it rolled up like that, it kind of gave me a heart attack. But it didn't affect the image and the image didn't bleed. So everything worked out perfectly. The package says to leave it in the water for 30 to 60 seconds, but we found the best way to know when to take it out is to see if the edges start to lift like this. Grab your brush and put a little water on your mug to help the transfer go a little bit more smoothly. Next, grab your image and put it in your desired spot. If you find it that your image is not easily coming off, then place it back in the water. It probably just didn't soak for long enough. It slid out pretty easily for me, but I think I was having a hard time with the camera right in front of me. So I did the other two mugs the same way that I did this Luffy mug, but off camera. So this is the finished look of all three of the mugs. I hope you found this video helpful and easy to follow along to. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one.